I do. Um, I've got a little bit more space in the garage now. So, do you like that? Yeah. So, I dug out this butane heater uh, from the workshop next door, which I almost forgot I had. Uh, and then, once I remembered that you needed to hold the button in to get the gas to go, uh, that meant I didn't actually need to change the bottle. So, this is going to be a lot easier to heat the garage with and I don't have to bellow over the top of the forge and the me, me forge gas will last longer as well so there's the interesting bit over so tonight I was supposed to be having a couple of nights off but this is what I use it's just like the quick quench tank uh, next to the forge and normally if I need to just quickly dunk something I actually have to bend right down to reach into it and when you've got a bad back I don't like stooping down all the time so it's taken us forever to actually realize that I could actually just weld some legs on so I've got some gnarly old rusty rebar which I'll uh, cut that one in well I'll cut them both in half uh, that one's the straighter one, so I'm going to cut the straightest bit off that, just stick it in the vise, because I've got a big vise. Straighten them up, uh, weld them on. It's not going to be pretty, it doesn't have to be, it's just functional and it's going to save me back a bit. Isn't it nice and quiet? The vise works. I've actually, for once, had to move the heater because it was too hot and it was setting fire to my legs. So, there's a first being too hot in the garage in the winter. the other day but uh, not today right should have three legs the same size to the right I'll clean the ends up a bit and then I'll stick them on there because as you know no good comes from having a dirty end I wasn't going to fire the forge up, but it turns out I'm not strong enough to bend rebar, so I've had to put some heat on.
I'll do. some red ends I'll uh, I'll just shine that up a little bit and get welding I'd quench them but I don't have a quench tank bloody typical when I'm just doing it on a heap of junk I do a nice weld balls well not balls nice weld but Still, I kind of do that all the time. Right, there's one leg. There you go, two welds. Ah, okay. Actually, I did boss that one up slightly because I actually started it off right handed and I'm left handed. So, there's my excuse. Right, last one. There you go, last weld. So, there you go, damn it. I've rushed that one, so I made a little mistake, so I've just tucked that in. Not that it was going to make a difference, but there you go. Right. So, there you go. So, what I've made is a little round pot with three legs. So, if that was actually more rounded on the top, then I've actually made Sputnik. So there you go, Pitter Striker, Davrish. There you go, all I need to do, fill that up with water, clear some of the shite out of the way where it's supposed to live, and it'll be done. There you are, short and sweet video. But because it was supposed to be a night off, I've had a nice easy job. So there you go. If I get bored, I might even paint it one day, but uh, probably not. Right, I'll go and have some supper. So I'll see you in a bit.